Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to download and install the new Minecraft launcher. So we're on our desktop and you're going to want to load up your old Minecraft launcher. Then once your Minecraft launcher has loaded up, at the bottom you should get this red text box down at the bottom here. And in that red box at the bottom it says there is a new improved launcher, download it now. Now what you got to do is click on that download it now. But if you do not see this red box at the bottom here, don't worry. All you got to do is go to the Microsoft Store and just type in Minecraft launcher and you should be able to download it right from there. But anyway, we'll come back over to this red box here and click on download it now. Then once you click on download it now, it should bring another menu up just like this one. All you got to do is click on open Microsoft Store. Then once you click on that, it should take you straight over to the Microsoft Store. Now once you're at the Microsoft Store, all you got to do is click on get right here and then it should download. Now once it's installed, all you got to do is click on play and then it should start installing some of the Minecraft files. So once your installing has done, it should bring up the Minecraft launcher and it will tell you to log in with Microsoft or Mojang. Now for a lot of people, you're going to want to log in with Microsoft, but for some people, you're still going to want to log in with Mojang. But if you do not know which one to log into, a good way to know is if you originally had a Mojang account and then you migrated it over to Microsoft and then you have to log in with Microsoft at the top here. But if you have not done that, then you have to log in with Mojang. Then once you click login, it might automatically log you into a Minecraft account, but you can always switch this if you have to. And that is what I do in this case. So I switch over to my right account. Then once you find your right account, just click on Let's Play. And then you are basically done. You've got the new Minecraft launcher. But as you can see, there is only the latest released right at the bottom here. Now, if you had Optivine or Fabric installed, there is a way of getting this back because at the moment you can see it is not on here no more. And it is very simple to get it back if you did have those installed before. Then what you have to do is go onto installations up the top and then click on new installation. Then if you go down and go to versions, you should be able to find your Optivine and your fabric. As you can see here, I do find my Optivine in here. So all you got to do is click on the one you want and then click on create. But I'm going to go back into new installations and actually get my fabric back as well. So I'm going to scroll down and click on my fabric 1.17.1. And I'm also going to call it fabric at the top as well. Then once you've done that, click on create. Then once you've clicked on create, all you got to do is come up to the top and click on play. And then down in the little search box here, just click on your fabric or your optivine or your forage. All depends on which one you put there. And then click on play. And then click on I understand and click on play. And then your micro should start downloading all the files it needs. Now while my Minecraft is actually downloading. I'm quickly going to say that this should not remove any of your worlds that you previous had on your um, other old launcher. As I'm going to show you in my one here. So I'm going to click over to multiplayer here. As you can see, all of my servers are still here. As you can see as well, I did get this pop up here on screen. Now, if you ever get this, I would click just allow access, especially if it's Minecraft because you do need it to actually allow access. Now, some of you might get this, some of you might not. So yeah, just click on allow access for that. But as you can see here, all my servers are here and also you can see all my replays are still here and also all of my saves are still here as well. So everything has saved from my old launcher, which is very nice. But now I'm actually going to tell you how to actually get this new Minecraft launcher onto your desktop. So to get your new launcher onto your desktop, all you got to do is click on the Windows button in the corner. Then all you got to do then is scroll down until you find Minecraft Launcher. Then once you find Minecraft Launcher, all you got to do is kind of click on it and drag it out to your desktop. And there you go. You have got the Minecraft Launcher and it all works properly as you can see just here. So this is how you get the new Minecraft Launcher. Now I do want to say that you can still use the old Minecraft Launcher so you don't have to get rid of that. You can still use the old Minecraft Launcher and you can also use the new one as well. And there's not really too much of a difference from these I don't think. Just maybe stuff might run better with the new launcher. And I quickly want to say as well that if you guys get confused anyway through this video, if you need help at all come and join my discord i have a help section on my discord if you need any help at all just leave it in there and i should be able to help you out there easier than the comments if you would like to know how to install optifine for your minecraft you can check out this video here on the screen but that is it for this video guys and i'll see you guys all next time peace out